Hello and welcome to Talking Films with me Lizzie. Each week I'm going to give you a little bit of feedback on what I think about the latest movie releases in Dubai. This weekend I went to see Immortals. Tarsim Singh, the director of The Cell and The Fall, directs this Greek mythology based movie. Henry Cavill, who is going to be our new Superman, plays Theseus, an immortal chosen by Zeus to defeat the evil King Hypernion. It also features the beautiful Frida Pinto as the Oracle who sees into the future and is our lead man's love interest. This movie is a work of art. The eerie, desolate world that Singh created is amazing. It isn't quite comparable to any movie that I've ever seen. The graphics and fight scenes are pretty good, but honestly, all the best bits were in the trailer. The sad fact about this film is that after about half an hour of being wowed at how amazing it looks, the lack of story really, really starts to surface. Overacting becomes more noticeable, which seems to be typical of this genre by the way, and the only interesting character is the baddie played by Mickey Rourke. It was made by the same people who made 300, so I was hoping for way more from this movie. I rate it as 4 out of 10 purely because it was pretty to look at, and frankly, I'd rather go and see Twilight than watch this movie again. As part of this little segment of mine, I'm also going to share some of the best pieces of film that I come across on the internet. Vimeo is a video sharing website similar to YouTube with a much more professional focus. It contains some amazing pieces of film which generally get little to no exposure, so here's some of the best that I found this week. Forty-four days, eleven countries, eighteen flights, and thirty-eight thousand miles, and two cameras. Move, eat, learn are three short movies made by three young guys on their travels. For a starter, these films are well edited and well shot. They're nearly faultless. The music is clearly considered, but I just don't like it. It's a bit overpowering at some points, especially the plonky piano parts. I can't argue with the fact that it really adds to the pace of the footage and enforces that sense of discovery and adventure. If it weren't for the fact that they came as part of a three, I would nag on about the lack of direction and demand some sort of a story. But as they stand, I would recommend these short movies because they're exciting and inspiring and the guy in the films is quite good looking too. Now, One Step Forward is guaranteed to bring a smile to your face. Hey. I didn't see that coming. Where are you? Ah. Uh, it's a weird story, but I'll be, I'll be right back, okay? This short movie relies on suspense as the entire sequence is played in reverse. The ending is a bit unoriginal, but what leads up to that final moment is what makes this film really stand out. The guys who made this aren't amateurs. They clearly have an extensive knowledge about film, which is reflected in their technique. Prior to its Vimeo existence, this movie was awarded Best Film, Best Director, Best Cinematography and Best Editing at the 48 Hour Film Project. Yes kids, this was made in just 48 hours. To view these clips, look down there for the hyperlinks. I would love to hear what you thought of the movies, so make sure you leave a comment below. Bye! Till next week! <laughs>